for like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. There it goes. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. Now, I'm going to pull from this deck, which is the money manifest manifestation deck, to tell you what you got going on, what you want to, what you should be manifesting, and how you should be manifesting it. But it also tells you where you are when it comes to the manifestation and what you're trying to do. So far, I see dream homes, but the niche, niche is here. It says, with your unique experiences and fresh perspectives, you would do very well specializing in a niche. So it's telling you to niche down. I, on the other hand, was not able to niche down. And that's the key to um, look at the bottom of the deck, your dream job. So dream job, dream, dream home. So that's the key to um, being able to manifest the things that you want in life. Me, on the other hand, I don't want to be tied in the box. So uh, that's where I have my most issues at is trying to figure out what it is that I want to do uh, when it comes to my passions. I'm passionate about a lot. But at some point, the universe is saying the key is to walk away. And this is probably from the things that no longer serve you. It says what you're doing now isn't working for you, but you are willing to walk away. It says, but are you willing to walk away to make room for something better? That's what you have to ask yourself. If whatever you're doing is not worth it, are you going to be able to have the ability to walk away from the things that no longer serve you? And it says retreat. Sometimes taking a break is the best thing you can do to gain clarity and a fresh perspective. So walking away. Um, and also, this is self-care. This is a part of self-care. So when things don't kind of work out for you, yeah, you have to change your schedule. And this is timing, right? So the retreat, walking away, uh, based upon your niches, having the key to be able to decide what it is that you want to do. It says most forms of perspectives require time and effort to manifest. Do you have room in your schedule for abundance, uh, for the abundance you are wanting to attract so these are the questions that you need to ask yourself in regards to where you are in the present moment it has nothing to do with the past of where you've been you've learned from the past because you wouldn't be here right now where we are if you didn't the future has nothing to do with you right now because you have to live in the present moment to see to feel to be able to understand where you are and what it is that you're trying to do and what you learned from the past and it says envy Focusing on what others uh, have is a drain of your energy. So um, this is not necessarily being envious of others, but focusing on what has happened in the past and focusing on why you're at this point and stage of your life. The universe wants you to be here, but the universe also wants you to understand why you are here. But the dream home, this could be you going after your dream home or it could be something that has to do with your home or just saving, manifesting the things that you want. It says when you are living your best life every day, your dream home is your actual home. Um, your dream home is your actual home, meaning that wherever you are right now, if you're manifesting and you're happy, uh, don't let anybody who is envious of your energy, of the things that you want to do, the things that you want to accomplish, stop you from achieving your goals. And that's why sometimes you just have to walk away. The keys are to walk away. To go into hermit mode, which is a retreat, retreat mode, um, to kind of do some type of soul searching to see where you are. A message from the universe is what these cards are to me. Uh, it's the mystic forest deck. Um, these are like empathic uh, energies to me and what it is that you need to be focusing on. Yeah, so the cards, yeah, uh, they came out like this. And the bottom of the deck is pursue happiness. So this is your niche. What makes you happy? Nobody can take that. Sorry, nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take it away. You give them the power to be able to make these things happen or not happen for you by you feeling left out, by you, by you feeling like you're not reaching your goals or by you. It says envious looking at what other people have, but I don't necessarily think that you're jealous over what other people have. I think that you are envious over how much you've put into other people and you haven't put into yourself. So that is what the universe is telling you to walk away from all of the energies that you've give to, you've given to everyone else because you're not receiving that. Um, and it's not that you're doing it to receive the reciprocation of why you decided to. This is in your heart, but you have to be able to pursue happiness within yourself. It says, never apologize for what brings you joy. Only you understand where you truly belong and where you can find your safe space. Follow your bliss. So don't let anybody take you out of what is uh, on your agenda? It says without an agenda is here. So we have so far a dream job without an agenda. If you don't have an agenda, pursuing happiness is 
a part of why your dream job might not be there. Um, it says, did you ever think you could get, you could get paid for just being yourself? That's what dream job is. But at some point, no, if you don't have an agenda, so, uh, uh, if you don't have an agenda, it says pure love and everything you have dreamed will happen when you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return. True givers receive. You give, but then at some point you start to take things personally when you decide that somebody is taking your kindness for a weakness. And that's when you, everything just starts to just go out the door. So trust your feelings and uh, receiving it all. So trust in your feelings and be able to receive it all. And this is not a debate, but for some reason you're debating this energy and the universe is telling you, no, pay attention to what it is that you're doing. Hold on one second. My grandbaby's calling me. Okay. So yeah, the thing is, is that when it comes to feeling these ways, like I said, I said, dream job and without an agenda, you know, you have to realize what, that when it gets to this situation of your pursuit of happiness, there can't be any debate, meaning that your boundaries have to be set and you have to walk away from the things that never serve you, that don't serve you. And your schedule, it, you have to figure out if this is worth your time, your energy, and if you haven't, you know, can put this on the schedule. That's why schedule is here. But you, you cannot be looking at what you've done for others. Present moment is where you need to be, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to a situation where it says no debate, I'll go ahead this is where you're unsure at. It says you don't need to do anything to be more worthy. You are valuable regardless of your circumstances. You always have been and always will be. It's not for debate. And so this is where you're unsure at. Like when it comes to you trusting in your feelings because you have to be able to know and understand and trust in your intuition to be able to receive everything that the universe has for you. And that's your pursuit of happiness. You are not the same as anyone else. You don't have the same feelings as anyone else. So you can't let anybody make you feel a certain way. And if they do, you have to walk away. And that's the key uh, and to finding your niche and what makes you happy. And that's how I see this energy coming out. Your pursuit of happiness has to be with you not apologizing for what it is that you want and how you feel. Trust your feelings. And that's where you're in the present moment. You're not living in the past anymore, which causes fear. You're not worried about the future and what's to be, what's to become of what you're going through or how somebody else feels. You're going to just be in a situation to where you are, you know, um, having anxiety of what the future holds for you. No, trust your feelings in the now and be able to receive whatever the universe brings your way. And so, um, okay, sorry, I'm getting messages. It says, uh, trust your feelings. You are unique. Your destiny is waiting for you to write your story and pave your own path. Follow your heart. Don't let others di dictate who you should be. And that is where you have to trust your feelings. All of this is telling you your pursuit of happiness. You have to figure out what it is that you want right now. You have to understand that you have to be able to uh, sit back, walk away from the things that no longer serve you, put time into what it is that you want, and understand that your dream home is where you are now. You have to make it um, loving and happy uh for where you are at in this present moment. But that doesn't mean sink yourself or not be able to go after the things. It just means that you have to start putting you first and receiving it all is here. It says you deserve to receive abundance and full capacity at full capacity believe in your worth and trust that your universe is ready that the universe is ready to deliver all that you desire um open up so open up to receive trust in your feelings and also know that this is not up for debate it's not up for debate and if you believe that it is then that's where the universe is saying listen you've already been through whatever it is you've already proven yourself that you can go through a lot and be able to still get up and and, uh, you know, rise through the ashes like the phoenix, right? Yeah, it's just, it's going to be a challenge, but you have to recognize the challenges that come uh, before you and also past life. Yeah, stop living in the past. Understand that. And I'm about to sneeze, so hold on. Sorry, I couldn't pause it. I had to just mute it. But anyway, it says we reunite with our loved ones over and over in different lives. And I believe until we figure out 
what it is that we didn't pursue in the past life, and that's your happiness. But it calls, it says acceleration, speed up and chase the results you want. So it's about, okay, if we keep going in a 360-degree circle, right? 360-degree circles come with the ebb and flows of life, the will of fortune energy, right? So without an agenda, the dream job, and the acceleration you are going to always be stagnant and keep repeating the same cycles no matter what. But you have to be able to recognize. It says the universe will help you recognize signs and miracles. And it also has uh, the challenges. All, so, all true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So this could be you overcoming a situation with somebody, family, friend, uh, situationship, relationship, you know, whatever it is. But you have to be able to understand that that is what the challenges of life are uh, can be. And you have to know that at some point you stop trusting your feelings and you stop wanting to receive it all. And here it is, infatuation. You became more infatuated with a person, place, thing, or a situation and stop being infatuated with your dreams and things like that. So the universe is here to wake you up to let you know that it says denial, obsession, and attraction. You're in denial about what you are, what is not up for debate for you. And always remember, again, the recognition is that challenges do happen and opposites attract and it's a lesson that you have to learn because you didn't you know remember erica badu i guess to see you next lifetime y'all know i can't sing but that past thing is where you didn't learn the present energy that you needed to learn and so the universe is here to teach you that so lessons you're not uh, not your usual type different spiritual beliefs you guys are different there, the belief system is different, and it says stalking, hanging up, and unknown numbers. So you might be getting a lot of calls from unknown numbers, and that could be the person that is not really ready to say what it is, but because they feel guilty about not being able to get to this situation to where they're supporting you. And that is what it could be in a situationship, but the unknown callers could be you feeling, and this is why I'm going to say that, you feeling that people are doing things without an agenda, right? The acceleration, things are speeding up for you. You're not going after your dream jobs and you feel guilty. And so the unknown callers, you're putting that in your um, mind that this is the person that you couldn't work it out with that's calling you when it could be just a spam call, a spam likely. But your pursuit of happiness is trying to get you to get to a point to where you're trying to make excuses on somebody else's behaviors. You cannot worry about that, if that makes sense. I don't know why that came out the way it did, because it could be somebody calling you and just trying to see what you're doing. It could be that, but it could be you tricking and psyching yourself out to say, yeah, um, yeah, upright, faith, justice, and trust. You trusting in that this person still wants to have that same thing with you. And that's where the pressure, the anxiety, and the discomfort comes because your it's the faith, justice, and trust is like you're trusting in this person ha isn't over if this is the person or if this is, you know, this is somebody stalking you because stalking did come out somewhere. But my thing is, is that you're, you're, you're feeling under pressure because you want it to be uh, roses and whatever for the future. But you're you're looking at things like okay you know you're infatuated with why this isn't happening and despair again anxiety disease and just and shadow is here looking like somebody is looking at you through a curtain you know and trying to figure out oh stocking is unknown caller trying to figure out what it is and why they haven't moved forward so this is you feeling guilty for you walking away and trying to talk yourself into um, why you shouldn't move forward and why you're not ready to do it because you're figuring out that if you do move forward, then this person will come back and you will be either not ready for them or wait, you'll be moving on to something else and then they'll never take you back. You just have to let it go and let it flow. You know what I mean? And so you got to have faith that if the universe is, you know, if this person is yours by divine, by divine right, yeah, falling apart and uh, falling into pieces. You can't fall apart. Uh, you have to have faith. And this could be addictions. This could be your addictions. But, you know, this could be actual addictions. You know, this person could be addicted to other things. This could be codependent energy, industry, industries. <laughs> codependent energies. This could be actual drugs. This could be something that's taking their mind off or your mind off 
of the anxiety. And the thing is, is that you have to be in reality that, you know, all of the stuff that you had, all of the evidence that you have in the past, either you burnt it or you have to move forward with it. Because again, it's not going to, it's not going to change your emotions. So right now, underneath the bottom of the deck, we have the guilt, we have despair, we have dream jobs, we have uh, hit without an agenda, and we have acceleration moving forward. And now we have the burning evidence. So again, your evidence is clear to you. It's the Five of Cups energy, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, and you just don't do it. You steady fall apart instead of having faith in what, what is meant for you. You know, Aaliyah song, if you make this promise to me, you make it back in one piece. Yeah, sunglasses. So watching, looking, perception, and stalking. Again, you might think that somebody is stalking you because they're calling, uh, you get an unknown caller or you feel anxiety and discomfort and that makes you feel better, but it's actually you worried about what's happened in the past. And that's where it comes with, you know, you understanding about the past life energies. Like you're going to keep revisiting over and then blowing kisses because you have unconditional love for a person. And it's like giving and receiving you given to this person. You want fairness and love and an affection returned. But at the same instance, you're not getting that and you're only having anxiety and being a discomfort and having addictions to this relationship, if that makes sense. So that's where you start feeling like you're not enough. You know, you start feeling like you're not enough. Your confidence starts to go. You you start to deal with the ego and fear and the frustrations and self-sabotaging yourself because, again, you feel guilty because you had to, you have, you know that you have to. If you haven't done it, you know that you have to move forward. And that's the hardest thing that a person can do when it comes to dealing with certain situations. You have to be able to move forward even though, you know, and walk away. And that was the beginning of the message. And trust in your feelings and know that if it's meant, it's meant. But at the same time, you haven't learned the lesson. And that's why the past energy is here. You're going to keep repeating this until you get to a point to where, yeah, you're also, you're in your Drake energy. You only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. The Knight of Wands energy. But the Knight of Wands energy also lets you know that this is, you have to take action, go on a, uh, an adventure and be fearless of what sets your soul on fire. Because this energy here makes you fall apart and it makes you wait on somebody to be able to come back around or, or some situation to come back around. Because at the end of the day, you don't see the beauty in yourself, the Empress. Um, needs clarification and so the empress and the upright is you actually creating things and the empress and the reverse is you set you know sitting still and sabotaging your own emotions when it comes to dealing with certain people you know it's like a lack of creativity and you know it's like you're depending on somebody else's energy and so what you have to do is understand that yeah going and soul searching hermit energy you don't want to do this because you you're you know, it's like no debate. You don't want to move forward. But at some point, the universe is telling you hermit energy in the upright is soul searching. But in the reverse, the hermit energy, it's like you're isolating yourself and you're withdrawing from a situation and you're giving yourself anxiety and you're but this is this is codependent energy because Queen of Pentacles, like JDS Tarot used to say, because I haven't heard him say it in a, say it in a while. Um, he doesn't do cancer readings. I haven't seen. So you guys correct me if I'm wrong. But I was looking for cancer readings uh, from him once he got back, and I haven't seen cancer readings. Not saying that he doesn't. Maybe he has another channel. I haven't watched him. But he always says that the Queen of Pentacles uh, can be toxic to herself. And um, the quote that I read about the Queen of Pentacles, which made sense when I first started tarot, is it said, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. That no matter what will keep you codependent. Um, and it's a toxic in energy that if you listen to and read Melanie Beatty, uh, no, uh, codependent no more, you'll understand what codependency is. Codependency is you, um, actually being codependent on somebody who you feel you can change or they need you. Like a parent is codependent on their child because they're so, I'm choking. Somebody's throat chakra is off. Hold on one second. Sorry, because they're so used to uh, being there that you know and trying to fix and trying to help that's who the queen of pentacles can be but as queen amin ross says the queen of pentacles is the mother of the zodiac which we are but at the same time we can be toxic again a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what is like just i'm, I'm gonna wait for them to get it together because 
you know, they need me and I see the, I see the beauty in them and they don't see it in themselves. So you, it makes you fall apart and not have faith and faith and not trusting your intuition. And so when it comes to, yeah, the seven of uh, swords energy, you know, you have to understand that you are the one who, yeah, have to pull back your energy for pentacles. I have to cough. So give me one second. Okay. So I was choking. That was bad. <laughs> Somebody's throat chakra is off. So basically what I was saying is that when you feel insecure about certain situations and you having to, you know, actually make a, uh, like my old neighbor used to say, put your big girl panties on, whether male or female, pants, panties, however you want to say it, underwear, boxes, whatever. When you have to make these decisions that you have to walk away and put you first, that's the hard thing because you've given so much to certain situations, but you never received fair love or affection returned from what you've been doing and you just keep trying to keep hope um and four of pentacles energy is four years you've been waiting for somebody to reciprocate the same energy that you give them and and at some point it becomes an addiction to say oh I'm, I'm waiting for this person to just really understand that i'm there for them you know and um they can trust me and uh, with confidence i'm you know and the this is like having the willpower just to have confidence to be able to do certain things when it comes to how you feel and how someone else makes you feel does that make sense and so you know this is having the courage and going after your desires but at the same time trying to stay positive and you know it's like no but but you feel insecure because you don't see the beauty and why the universe is telling you to pull back your energy and to go after the things that you want and so we have right now not good enough feeling guilty despair we have burning evidence, we have acceleration, we have without an agenda, we have dream jobs, and we have the ace of uh, wands energy, having confidence and going after the things and having the willpower to be able to do stuff because even though you feel under pressure, you feel like this is your pursuit of happiness, why does it feel this way? Why does it feel like I'm so addicted to how somebody else feels about me when I'm trying to just pull my energy back and not keep giving to these certain situations? And the Queen of Pentacles being here just lets you know that that's your mothering nature. That is who we are as cancers, as empaths, you know, who, who we are as a nurturer. You know, the Queen of Cups energy, even though she's not out, that's the energy that we're compassionate. We try to be calm and comfort everybody through what it is, even with them falling apart and for them to have justice. But we never really think about us having justice. We are always unsure about having balance and also having our rewards and also Nine of Cups. Yeah you know, being able to be happy about the things. This is what we are always unsure about, you know, because we put everybody else first. And so with the temperance energy, this is you understanding that, you know, you have the right to be able to find the balance, but you're unsure about what balance is if you're not helping anybody else, if that makes sense. And so, well, it does make sense to me as a cancer, uh, but when it comes to the Ten of Cups energy, you also want to find inner happiness, but this is, you can't because of the shattered dreams that, people make you feel or you're shattering your own dreams or the broken family what's going to happen you know the what ifs the the what ifs and the disputes that's going to have to happen in order for you to put yourself first and then with the nine of cups energy this is you being emotional stable but at the same time you know um you lack true joy you know and you're dissatisfied with the outcome of how everybody treats you and so with that energy you're falling apart when you're steady trying to pick people up and put them together and you're just like the universe is telling you no you need to yeah get out of limbo hangman energy and actually start to see the light and so with the hangman energy her head is coming up because it's like okay come out of that hangman energy because what the hangman energy is excuse me, is you actually understanding that you have to surrender to the divine, not to anybody else's in their will and what they want. You have to be able to pull your energy back, understand that, yeah, tower energies happen, right? Tower energies happen, tower energies. Uh, it says sometimes you have to tear down the limited structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that's what the tower energies are. You're moving forward to rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And with that being said, Wait, I could have swore it was another card here. Doo, 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 doo. Why did I see another card? 
Oh, was it the hangman and the tower? I don't know. But anyway, you have to get out of that energy because, again, five of pentacles, you're struggling right now. Five of pentacles, you're struggling right now in order to make the decisions. Five years has been that you can't make a decision to put yourself first and not to feel bad about it. But that's that's in our nature. That's in our heart as a cancer. So five. So you're close to nine years because we got four here. We got five there. Nine years. It's been almost five Five plus four is nine. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year that it, you haven't had the courage and the desire. Um, Ace of Pentacles comes out. Why did I see it? Was it in here? <clears throat> Why did I see the Ace of Pentacles? That was the Ace of Wands that we saw. But you, have, you, you haven't had the courage to be able to go after the things that you want. So five of Pentacles. So here it is. That's why the Ace of Wands was here. Back to the same thing. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, to have financial opportunities, to be able to manifest, to have abundance. Ace of Wands energy is to create and to go after your desires and to have the willpower to be able to do that. So right now, and I'm going to go ahead and I pull tarot, so I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to go ahead and let you understand why you have to trust in your feelings and to be able to receive everything that you want and to recognize the challenges that the universe has, the, the challenges that you've been putting yourself through and why the universe is saying you need to be open to receive right here because, again, the universe will help recognize signs and miracles, but you have to understand that there's going to be challenges. All souls, all true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome through together, but at some point, the faith, uh, upright faith, justice, and trust has to be with people of your like kind, the people that are doing the things that you know um, are helping you in your pursuit of happiness and not causing you to fall apart or to feel like, you know, your perception of them is like to um, watch you from afar struggle. Because that's what I kind of see, watch you from afar struggle. So all of these things here are you having to have faith and to have the courage and the desire to go after it. And this is not, not a debate. And once you get out of this energy of seeing your worth and understanding why you have to go into hermit mode and why you have to pull your energy back, retreat and, you know, put time in for yourself and not be envious of where what you've done before. And that's where the blowing kisses is unconditional love, fairness, that thing of what you not what you haven't received and just to be able to go forward. So go forward. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these over here so that we can get some more energy. I want you to be able to see what I see when I'm looking at the energies that you're running from or uh, having to deal with uh, in regards to having these tower moments. And so, again, you don't feel like you're worthy of this, of having your cake and eating it too. So let me go ahead and put this here. I'll put these here. I'll put these card decks here to show you exactly what it is. And I hate to mix these up. I hate I hate when I mix them up and not put them in the same order that I got them in, but I'll try to do it. But again, the dream job, uh, when it comes to you having your dream job and going after and being happy about the things that you're doing, being happy for yourself and not feeling guilty about the things that you have done. And this all comes with without an agenda you know you cannot feel guilty about the things that you know it says pure love and everything you have dreamed uh will ha will happen when you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return true givers receive and i'm not saying that you haven't done that what i'm saying is that the thing is is that you're hurting yourself in the process of not not having and not you know you're feeling guilty about the things that you haven't been a part of or that you um what do you call it? You you um, are moving forward for or of. It doesn't make sense. And so, excuse me, that's how I see that energy. You are not really putting yourself first. You feel like you're in despair because, again, the pressure is there, right there. And you have the evidence that you need. You know everything that you need. You know everything that you need. You know why you need it. And you know what you have to do in order to receive it. You have to walk away, go into hermit mode. And also put more time into yourself, not be envious, not saying that you are, but not really care about how somebody else feels. But understand that your courage, your courageous and your your um, will to have and to feel like you're enough is why you are where you are right now, because you're not, you, you don't feel that way. You feel like if I do this, you know, I'm not happy with where I'm at because I've been dedicating nine years to this situation. And nine years being dedicated to a situation to where 
it's making me feel some type of way to feel lack or less than, um, you know, I can't do this. So this is how you feel in despair. And this is what you have to do. You have to be able to know that where you are living your best life, uh, excuse me, when you are living your best life every day, your dream home is your actual home. And so wherever you are in this present moment, you have to understand that the dream job, if you want to have it, you can get paid for what you love. But again, your job could be taking care of people, but you have to do it without an agenda, knowing that you are and knowing that you cannot feel, you know, the struggle or not, not really um, um, be hurt and feel guilty and feel, you know, pressure because somebody doesn't see your worth. You just have to move forward. If that makes sense, I'll put this right here for the time being. You just have to move forward and see your worth. And it's easier said than done. But that's how you accelerate. And that's how you do things. Because, you know, waiting for an apology, feeling remorseful, feeling ashamed about certain things, you have to be the one to say, hey, this is where I'm at and go from there. Mm -hmm. And and that's easier. Again, it's easier said than done. And that that's where you have to understand that sometimes people are – going to you know wish you um a certain thing hold on one second hold on yeah so my thing is is that you have to understand that you are afraid of respectfully not afraid afraid but you don't want to know what it's like with or without this person place thing or situation and you know it says the agenda without the agenda pure love and everything you have dreamed will happen when you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return. Not that you don't, my grandbaby's behind me. I'm recording. Not that you don't, she's playing Roblox, but not that you don't, it's not that you are afraid. Um, you don't want to know what it's like to do this without an, a person or somebody who you've been riding with for the nine years you're not ready to go after the um, another another situation. Hold on. Turn that down. You're not ready to go after a new situation um, and feel what it's like to, to, to get out there, to put yourself out there again. And so, hold on, turn that down. And so that is where you feel like, I've been waiting this long, let me wait a little bit longer. You know, and that's where the anxiety and the guilt and everything kicks in because you know what you've been through and you know about the past energies. But you feeling like you're not enough is because the ego and fear is starting to set in of what it, what's going to happen when you have to familiarize yourself with someone else who may not make you pull your energy back. But you're thinking, you're, you're thinking hard about tearing down the limiting structures you built for yourself. And the limiting structures are because you feel pressured to stay when you should be leaving and figuring out about what makes you actually happy and the key to your happiness. And so if that makes sense, that's how I see that with this energy. Now, hold on one second. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to pull this up, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use tarot to clarify with that and I'm trying to give you guys a little bit longer reads because again you know it's just like you guys deserve it I deserve it but I don't want to live in the past I want you to learn from the past and that's the whole thing about having to move forward is that sometimes we have to move forward from the past energies in order to be able to see what it is that we need to pursue and why so the pursuit of happiness comes with finding things that make you happy and knowing what's happening in the past life it's not the things that have made you happy. It made you feel uh, like there was pressure, like you didn't know what was going to happen that caused you lots of anxiety. It caused you to feel like you were being gaslit. And, you know, you just want the affection to be returned to you. You don't want financial, anything like that. You just want to know, you want somebody to reciprocate what they, you know, and to understand what it is to make that makes you happy. And that's where the struggle of nine years have come out and why the universe is telling you, Wherever you are in life, in so many words, wherever you are in life, you are happy, you know, but you have to take time out for yourself and to understand that. And in order for you to do that, you have to walk away from the things that cause you to feel pressure and to feel addiction and to feel like they're gaslighting you because that's where the unconditional love that you want to receive is at, you know, if that makes sense. Hold on. 
so that's kind of how I see that. And so, you know, it's easier said than done, but this is where your pursuit of happiness is. It's just to feel appreciated, to feel like somebody understands where you are when it comes to certain situations. So, yeah, so that that's just kind of how I see that energy, and it's hard. And so the thing is, is that, you know, this is a struggle. Five, four years, you pulling your energy back, and that feel, makes you feel like it's not you. So it's the pressure. It's like, I just want to love, be loved, give love, and not to be, not to have to question anything when it comes to love. And it's, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not happening the way that you, you, you see that it should be because all you're doing is instilling love into other people and not really doing it for yourself. So that's where the tower energy is here and where it's saying to trust your feelings. You know how you feel. It also said at the bottom of the deck that you have, um, you have, um, what is it? Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of what it was saying. Uh, hold on, let me look. Oh, you have the evidence to know how you feel. And and that's that's that. That that's where you are. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull um if this is in regards to love. I'm gonna pull from this deck. What is the name of this? Um I don't know what the name of this is, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull energy in regards to this. If this is in regards to love. Renew hope, new love. So this could be you know, the thing is, is that new love is going to come your way, like I said, and you just want family and security. That's all you want out of the situation. So to be able to start over after 10 years, it's hard to, to know that you've accepted stuff from a person. Yeah, signs and meanings. You have to understand that this is why the universe is bringing these signs to you and letting you understand that you have the right to be able to be loved. You, you, you deserve to be loved. And at some point when it comes to toxicity, and dealing with certain situations, you know, you have to be able to get out of this. This is from the, let me make sure, Twin Flame Soulmate and uh, Karmic Partner deck. But you just want security. And right now, you haven't been receiving that. And so here it is. Why has it been so long that you, ha yeah, you want an easy breezy connection and cycles. Yeah, so the ebb and flows of life. Again, another card fell on the floor. Let me see what it is. Yeah, Pragma Love. Okay, so underneath here is convenience. Okay, it says you're staying in your relationship, I'm just saying, you're staying in your relationship out of convenience, uh, so you're staying in your relationship out of convenience because starting over seems like a dreadful task, you, uh, a, a dreadful task, so you hold off on leaving them, and that's, that's karmic, and that's what, it, that's where it is, you're not trusting in your feelings and your emotions because you don't want to start over, and the cycles is at the bottom of the deck, so we're going to go ahead and read that. So the signs are there. The signs are there. It says it right there. It says uh, you have the evidence, the burning evidence. You know what it is. So the cycles are your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as, as this change can throw you off, off your center. So, again, you're going to find someone who is going to throw you off by giving you the security and love and that family dynamic that you did not have. And that's the renewed hope that the universe is going to give you an easy breezy thing. But let's read the easy breezy. It says, and this is, um, so I think it's soulmate energy. No relationship is easy, but it shouldn't have, it shouldn't be war either. You will work together or make room for improvements in your connection. So this is what's going to happen moving forward. Your pursuit of happiness, this does not have to be with the old person, but it has to be with people moving forward and situations moving forward. And that's the cycles that's going to throw you off is because people are going to come back around and you have to be able to decipher the, the toxicity in these situations. The, you know, if this is a situation to where they're upset because they're trying to give you what you needed because they didn't in the beginning. They were, you know, gaslighting you. And it says pragma, pragma, pragma love. It says an enduring love. Pragma is uh, an enduring love. Pragma is a love that is matured and developed, made to survive all the changes and adver uh, adversities rising above the challenges. So, again, this is to somebody who is, you know, coming back or this is somebody who is learning and wants this moving forward. I don't want to confuse you in this situation because so far you're already you already know what you need to do, but you don't want to do it because again, it's taking more out of you and causing more anxiety and pressure because you've already did a 9-year bid respectfully, right? If you know, you know, you've already done that and so when it comes to your emotions and dealing with certain people and situations, you're just like, it, it might be easier. Should I stay or go? Or are you 
basically not really living your dreams because you know you waited so long that you know that when it when when it's all said and done you're gonna this person will come back and you'll be like i'm over it because i feel like you're doing it because you felt bad don't feel bad about me you know yeah look at that don't feel bad about me because or feel bad at what you did don't feel like shit because of what you did yeah because you were jazabelle you see what i'm saying so this is the ebb and flows of what somebody else has did uh yeah, crazy ex, obsessed, and won't let go. So, again, this person, toxic, right? Toxic energy, um, Capricorn energy, toxic. Uh, you know, this this person is might come back because they feel like shit if you leave them. Or the pressure is on for them because, again, they you made it so easy. And now they're trying to do something. But, again, you have the strength now, nine years you're you're having your cake and eating it too, but they don't want to let go. Does that make sense? And so the signs, doing things out of convenience because they would rather not leave you or or lose you. Um, when it comes to you moving forward, so I'm gonna pull from the purpose. What is this purposeful career deck to see what comes out if this is in regards to a career? And then I'm gonna pull from the ask yourself, ask your ask. I think it's the ask yourself deck, but um. Yeah, you know, the thing is, is that the cycles of the ebb and flows, the back and forth, the Jazabel type energy, you know, the situations that, you know, you didn't trust your feelings in, that made you feel less than, that's what I'm just trying to say, that made you feel like you weren't enough, you know, this energy is coming back around to you in the reverse when it comes to your career, charm, yeah, they can't charm you, and blessings, it says unexpected fortune is about to come, this is a great time to enjoy blessings pouring in your finances are doing well at the moment. Yeah, nine years, nine of Pinnacle's energy. It's been nine years, and now blessings are starting to happen, and the charm, they can't charm you, but the universe says, watch out, it's the fox. My grandbaby watches some song, what does the fox say? <laughs> anyway, there is more than meets the eye. Be careful with whom you deal your finances with. Someone might be taking advantage of your vulnerability, and that's what's been happening, and that's the ebb and flows of life, and you know, these are the signs and synchronicities that you've been a part of. And the charm, I'm going to read it in the upright to see. It says, you me you're, you mesmerize people with your charm and elegance. You have the style and cap captivities. Cap excuse me, I said captivities. Like they have, oh, like it's a fox in the wild, right? It says, you have the style and cap that captivates your audience. Use your confidence uh, to your advantage. Well, that's not the same anymore when it comes to the addictions and you being addicted to a situation or a person or a place or something like that. They don't have that charm anymore to charm you over. You know, they don't have that uh, or whatever because they didn't give it to you in the beginning. And so you have to be able to be the one to make the decisions on what it is that you want to do moving forward. I'm going to pull from the evolution of the soul. Let me get it. And then the uh, ask yourself is right here. But before, yeah, I'll pull. Look at that. I, I have it right here. Sorry. I'm dropping stuff. Uh, yeah, from the Ask Yourself uh, Tarot deck to see. I think that's what it's called, the Ask Yourself Tarot deck. To ask yourself what it is that you need to know. You have the energy and you have the, the wherewithal to be able to, yeah, and clarity to have your cake and eat it too. Are you prepared to have a new beginning in love? And that's what it is. New hope, new love. You know, renewed hope and love. And the blessings are there. Are you prepared for it, though? Six of Swords, because you walked away before. It says, what do you need to remove yourself from for peace of mind? And that's what it is. You need to remove yourself from the toxic energies, from the person that doesn't want to let you go because the signs are there that you have to watch out for them, and the conveniences are there. Everything that you've done for them was convenient until you stopped doing it. And so you have to be able to be the one to, yeah, tower ending Ace of Swords clarity. So it says, what needs to uh, break down in your life in order to be rebuilt? See? Ace of Swords. Are you prepared to receive the truth regarding an important matter? And that is the truth is going to come out and it's going to set you free. And that's where the key is, is in this energy, if that makes sense. And so sometimes it's easier said than done. But at the same time, you have to be able to be the one to evolve from this situation. I'm going to get two more card decks. They're over here. And one is over there and one is over here. So I'm going to get two more card decks. And I know that this is a lot for me to 
I'm almost at 45 minutes. So, but this is a really good reading. And I guess I'm going to start doing my readings like this um, so that you guys can get the full on. I used to do this all the time and I kind of stopped, but um, you know, you guys deserve it. But at the same time, you can't, nobody is going to be able to charm you anymore in, in regards to enduring the toxic energies and having, you know, feeling pressured to be able to make certain decisions on walking away because the struggle is real. Five of Pentacles energy and you had to pull back your energy again with the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles showing her face, you know, will do anything for family. But now you have to be able to be prepared for new love, a new type of love, a different love, the pursuit of happiness to be loved the way you want to be loved. And that's the new love and the renewed hope that's happening when you start to trust in your feelings, if that makes sense. All right. So, yeah, I, you know, that's that's the thing I, I said I was going to pull from. I got two decks, but I think I'm going to just keep this one here, the evolution of the soul and just use this one and to end it out. Because, again, we have to realize not just you, me and everyone else and all these cancers with the empathetic, loving, big hearts have to realize how to evolve from, you know, the codependent energies. And that's whether we like it or not. Is what we deal with, you know. We deal with codependent ener energies, and yeah, uh, here it is. Bottom of the deck is the LVL nine consciousness. You transform the people you meet. You're able to lead others. Your strong presence influences others. So you're going to start influencing people for them to see what it is. But tragedy has to happen. Meaning not not bad, not putting that on you, but tower moments is what this is to me. Tragedy helps you find your purpose. Deep lessons concealed in tra tragedies. Helping others cope during tragedies. This is what we do. We help others cope when it comes to us seeing their potential, but it causes us to have a tra tragedy or tower type energy and to struggle and to be under pressure and to be, you know, codependent on other people's energy because all we want to do is help. You know, all we want to do is help. Um, so let me, oh, I didn't even read this. Okay, so, yep, stardom, teacher, and difficult road. Yeah, like I said. So, again, no more charm. The difficult road is here. It says spirit of perseverance, being prepared for great things, walk the, the hard path in life. And that's what we do the majority of the time. But it says, teacher, you're teaching people moving, moving forward. And you also teach people how to learn to love. But, again, it comes at a moment of your, your, your um, anxiety and you feeling like shit behind how you're here to help people overcome whatever it is that they're going through. And that's the thing about being in the LVL9 consciousness is that you have the ability to help people, but you have to learn to separate the difference and know the difference and have clarity about the tower moments that need to be happen that need to happen. Actually, my um, my best friend just sent me, hold on, she just sent me a um, thing from uh, Facebook. Hold on one second, from Facebook. And um, if you guys want to look it up, it's. I am Natasha Main. Natasha Main is a, you can't see it. Oh, sorry. But Natasha Main is a lawyer. Um, she's on, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't know why you guys can't see it or whatever. I'll read it to you. Um, it says, advice from a 20-year-old veteran, divorce attorney. Be careful who you date this year. As a divorce attorney, I have learned that a narcissist, man or a woman, doesn't break your heart. They break your spirit. And that is why it takes so long to heal. They seek power over others to feel better about themselves. They rewrite history to escape accountability. Um, they love bomb you in they love bomb you love bomb you in the beginning or when they want something, then they destroy you. They use money as their tool to manipulate and control. They can't communicate, so everything is an argument. No one can tell them anything because they think it's an attack. They manipulate by blaming you. They manipulate by Blaming you for your reactions to their disrespect because you, mu you must foolishly be obedient and submissive at all times. They are compulsive liars in order to deny the truth and still live in their make-believe world. They will betray you on so many levels. They will use your vulnerabilities and weaknesses against you. They are adult bullies. They will treat you with, with such a lack of respect that you have a hard time holding back and then you explode, right? King, Queen of Swords energy. They will um, have you screaming, yelling, and acting insane while saying awful things back to them just to survive, just for survival's sake. They will make you appear as if you are the one that is out of control and can often pull people on, on, of the same. 
and can often fool people of the same. You're not crazy, insecure, or jealous. You have as jeal or jealous as you never were. You're not damaged, no good, or unworthy as you were never were. Hold on. As you never were. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Never were. You are not too sensitive and not overreacting. You do not need mental help. The real problem was that you were the perfect package at the wrong address. I pray that everyone reading this post finds that the person that have they have been praying for in 2024. I pray that you never uh, get attached to another person who uh, is not meant for you. Now that we have prayed for for it, prepare for it. God is about to show you just how amazing a partner, a, amazing partnership and love can get. Uh, you were never asked for too. You were you were never asking for too much. You were you were asking the wrong person. You deserve to be in environments that bring out the softness in you, not the survival in you. I am ready to officiate everyone's wedding, and it says, "See you at the mountaintop." So this is again. Um, I am uh, Natasha Main M A Y N E. So I A M N A T A S H A M A Y N E. That's on Instagram. I don't know if she has a TikTok, but this is the picture to it. My best friend literally just sent this to me while, I don't know if you heard it go off, but she literally sent this to me while I was in the process of um, uh, pulling the cards for teacher stardom and difficult road. But that is how I see this energy. And I know that it's a lot to put in when it comes to wanting the person that you've been trying to help and see get to see your the beauty in you but again you deserve more and i said that in this reading so trust your feelings because you already know don't let anything cloud your judgment it says illusion unbalanced and distorted that's the reason why and bluff pretending mass and exaggeration this person will constantly continue to bluff you and keep playing games with you with their arrogance ego and stubborn pride until you just have had enough and you start to reciprocate the same energy that they give you all because they want their cake and eat it too. They want to be and have that Jezebel spirit. So that is where you, the universe is telling you to learn, unlearn, to relearn. And that's the Hierophant energy, you know, your belief system changing the way that you did things in the past. So I think that this is a really good read. We're almost at an hour. I hope you guys stay to the end. If you did, Orange Hearts, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and pull from the Crystal deck which is the blue Chaldoni, and then the four agreements. I forgot there on that same side. Um, always do your best. You've done your best. Express your own divinity. And that's going back to finding your niece and trust niche and trusting your feelings and your pursuit of happiness. It says you don't need the acceptance of others. Uh, you don't need a knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you, and you express your own divinity by being alive and loving yourself and others. And so this is what... You want, but again, the people that keeps draining you out of this situation and, and playing you, those are the ebb and flows of life that you have to learn about. You know that you're going to receive your blessings. You just have to know how to separate the difference between Jezebel energy and somebody that's bluffing you and playing games with you. And that's gaslighting you, basically, is what it is. And so that's what the stardom, the people who wants to stardom and wants to always look this way and look that way and you know put you on the difficult road and cloud your judgment and put you under pressure those are the ones who you have to know and be warned about and that's what that lady was just talking about so the blue Chaldoni is the third eye having your intuition and the throat chakra being able to say what it is that you want you've done your best express the what you want know the what you need and your pursuit of happiness and trust in your intuition and don't 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 debate don't don't let anybody tell you anything different and know the difference between walking away and having your dream home job life and being able to set time out and schedule it and don't compare yourself to from the past energies and you can say hey I remember where I was at in this past I'm in this present moment now this is where I'm at the tower energies are going to have to happen in order for me to get out of this energy because I feel like it's pulling me back in every time I try to leave she's trying to keep pulling me back me back Telling me I need you in my life. Bluff. Y'all know I can't sing. They're playing games with you. So um, tranquility, protection, and service. Tranquility, protection, and service. And it says, I am filled with creativity and optimism. So, again, that is what you needed to know. Let's let this old energy go. And that's all I want you to do is to be in the present moment. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, 
negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.